Yeah, yeah, don't look in there. All right, I got my saw set up. I've got a bunch of artwork that I painted on just plywood. And you can't really just hang up plywood. So I gotta make a face frame for the back side. So it makes it rigid and uh, allows you to hang it on the wall. Make sense? So I'm gonna drag some of this stuff out here that's been uh, kicking around and make face frames for them. Here's one. Painting from the 300 movie. All right, here's another one I painted a while back. It's young Michael Jackson. And I painted this at least a couple years ago. Lemmy. Motorhead, baby. All right, this one I painted in Iowa. Batman. Oh, I got paint on it or something. That's just a Maryland stencil painting I did a while back on tar paper. Then I spray mounted it to plywood. This hand painted uh, Lamar, LeBron, or whatever his name is. I suppose I have to put a quote on that one or something. I don't watch basketball. The stone. Stencil painting. Man, if I put face frames on these, maybe by some miracle of God, I'll sell some stuff. I call this one the football stud. That one's four foot by four foot. It's huge. I don't watch football either. Talk about boring. <laughs> Attention, saw me paint this one. Five Sullivan Brothers. Those guys are from my hometown in Waterloo, Iowa. They all died on the same boat, World War II. Imagine being the mother, getting that message that all five of your sons are dead. Man, I got a million tape measures, but all I can find is this crap. Then that is, man, you can't hang that on a wall. I'm gonna deduct, say, three inches, okay? So let's do 20 inches. And then this way, 24 inches, I'm gonna deduct three inches. 21, okay? Which way does the pin go? The pin goes this way. So my legs, what I call my legs, are gonna run this way. And what am I doing? So my legs need to be 20 inches. My cross pieces, they need it to be 21 inches, minus, because they're gonna go in between. So I go 21 inches minus. The thickness of this, these two pieces of wood. I don't, uh, I don't put it on yet. I let the glue dry first. And then I sand it real quick. And then I 
glue it and brad nail it on all right have you ever noticed how cool stuff looks in slow motion? 